2020 was a very interesting emotional roller coaster for me. Um, of course, the most horrible thing happened to me. My mom passed away in um, 2020. So, you know, 2020 was sucked. Um, but, uh, you know, I learned about myself. I know, I know that I, I got a chance to spend a lot more time with my, with my daughter during the lockdown. Um, did a lot of YouTube, watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, learned how to do different things. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there was, of course, downs, but there were also ups with that. Um, got a chance to actually sit and breathe, and that was beautiful in itself. Um, you know, just think about life, think about what I want, brainstorm, different things like that. So, of course, it was, it was to put it in a nutshell, it was an emotional roller coaster. I think life affects the entertainment industry, um, but yes, definitely um, lockdown affected it. Uh, a lot of people went in, went back into the labs, they brainstormed, they tried to figure out ways to, you know, do their thing, be creative under the circumstance. And I think because of that, we're now receiving a residual of um, what the lockdown was all about. A lot of people have come out with a lot of beautiful music, a lot of beautiful projects, a lot of stories, a lot of just creative beauty. And we're, we're now, getting that and that's exciting too so there's a few things that i love doing and that's going to the spa i love going to the movies by myself like i have a thing called osas day where i just you know treat myself and just enjoy myself by myself so one of the things i do is go to the movies watch a movie by myself have my big bowl of popcorn and my and my soft drink or whatnot and then another thing is to go to the spa like i frequent the spa I love it. Um, so I can't really do that during <laughs> lockdown. So I did a lot of at-home spa treatments and it was really <laughs> funny. <Yeah. laughs> it was, let's just say it was interesting. Um, why malaria? Well, back in 2006, I actually didn't know what malaria was. At the time I grew up in the States and so I wasn't really privy to it um, until my, older sister passed away from malaria and she was with child and so and she came to Nigeria um, during that time so when you we got the news that she passed away she was with child she was everybody was happy about that and then she's gone based off of the fact that there's something called malaria so at that time I had no idea what it was and um, you know so, so yeah, that's how I got introduced to what malaria is and how it's affecting so many people. People look at it as if it's like the common cold and people are dying from it. And I feel that it's, you know, my duty as a human being and someone that is unfortunately um, dealt with malaria, someone passing away that's close to me. I feel that I don't want other people's lives to be in vain off of something that's treatable. And, and and that is the reason why I have my NGO called the Joyful Joy Foundation, which is named after my sister, whose name was Joy. So the Joyful Joy Foundation, um, we go to different communities and our mission is to, is to push happiness and push joy one community at a time. So with our NGO, we, we have our outreaches and we give out bed nets, we give out um, medication if it's needed, we have free um, testing, um, we have a whole event geared for the community and it's spreading, instead of spreading malaria, it's spreading joy one community at a time. So that's our mission. And in order for us to do that, because we do these outreaches on a monthly basis, we have a, a big fundraiser at the end of the year where we're able to raise a lot of funds and then conduct these outreaches on a monthly basis throughout the year. So I've been grateful to be able to have the support of um, my colleagues in the entertainment industry to be able to pull this event off year after year and year after year just keeps getting bigger and bigger and it's really exciting to see the growth of it and to see um, more people will be able to get help from that. Taking it a day at a time, that's how I, how I manage 
on a daily basis pretty much is really taking it a day at a time i i didn't know what to i didn't no one expected it but you know um you just take it a day at a time because there's no planning there's no way to prepare for that you know um but yeah that's just how it's been there's two reasons why it's called joyful joy so one of my favorite movies is sister act two yeah <laughs> and so my dad took um at the time my dad took my brothers and my sister to the movie theater and we watched it on the big screen and it was that also like energized my will of wanting to act i'm like i want to do this so um yeah that movie means a lot to me so um if you if you've seen the movie you know at the end of the movie they sing joyful joyful love be a dorothy so my sister was just so happy because they're singing about her she's like they're singing about me they're singing about me so it was like no it's not you your name is there but yeah so that was a cute moment and and it always stuck in my mind so unfortunately when she passed away Way. Um, and we were thinking about what we're gonna name the NGO. It was only fitting to call it the Joyful Joy Foundation. You know, they say one, two heads are better than one. So, you know, if we're all able to put in an effort towards um, the betterment of, of the human race, then why not? Oh, yeah. Pulse will not make me emotional today. No. <laughs> um, but uh, I know how. I've been molded as a, as a woman, as a human being today because of what has inspired me growing up. So if I'm able to inspire someone based off of what I love to do, which is acting, which is giving back, which is dancing, which is whatever I do, if it inspires someone, if it puts, some, if it puts someone in a better mood, if it makes someone smile, then I know that, that I'm living a purposeful life. So, I feel that with the Joyful Joy Foundation, we're inspiring and we're helping others. And that is what um, the inspiration of my sister was to me, or is to me. Um, in regards to my mother passing away um, a year ago, it was, and I mean, this is an exclusive thing, but we're gonna be launching another aspect to the Joyful Joy Foundation. And that is, um, the uh, Imwentia Cares Initiative. My mom's name was Imwentia. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, it was just, it, it was just amazing. You know, my, growing up, I always knew, she's my mom. I love her. She's awesome to us and everything. Yes, everyone loves him. By God's grace, everyone loves him. Um, but, I always knew that my mom was especially sweet and especially nice, but I didn't know to the extent of how she was towards others. I know how she was to me and my siblings and immediate family. But when she passed away, the amount of people that had come to me about how my mom has secretly helped them and enriched their lives and made life better for them is, insane to me like the amount of people oh your mom oh my gosh i love your mom your mom helped me do this she helped me through school she paid my rent she did, 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 did. i'm like wait what and then um they nicknamed her um mama giver because she gave so mm. she gave so much and so to honor her to honor her life to honor what she's meant to so many people i've felt and my siblings feel that it's only fitting to now put an initiative together and continue her legacy in that way and through the imwetia cares initiative we'll be funding or gifting or blessing someone somehow within the health sector within the school sector However way we can, whoever we feel is the best fit for for the for for the initiative each year, they'll now get um, a portion of funds to help in whatever it is that they need help with.
So that's, I'm very excited about that aspect of the Joyful Joy Foundation and launching the Emotinya Initiative. Emotinya Cares Initiative this year. We're gonna actually, you guys got an exclusive because um, we were, we are going to announce it at Laugh Fest and we're going to award, can't tell you who, but they'll be there. And I think it's, yeah, yeah, no, you guys, will, you'll know. <laughs> <sighs> like I said, two heads are better than one. Um, you know, there's always so much more that could be done. Um, I have the opportunity to work with the Society for Family Health and, um, you know, going out and, and helping. There's too many people that are suffering. There are too many people that are suffering from so many different things and I don't feel like I'm one to be able to tell the government what to do, but as a human being, we're each other's brothers and sisters. We gotta take care of one another. It shouldn't be okay to see someone, to see a brother or a sister suffering. I don't think that needs to be told. I think that should, that's, that's, that's knowledge, that's wisdom, you know? Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, a lot of things can really be taken care of based off of compassion for one another, but it's not the case. But we keep pushing and we keep doing the best that we can, yeah. Ah, uh, for me, within the past year, and what has helped me get through dealing with a loss is um, make them proud. Make them proud because at the end of the day, for me, I feel you'll meet again. And when you meet again, you wanna be able to tell them or show them or express to them what they meant to you and how you, thank you, thank you both. <laughs> how you lived life to the fullest. Um, yeah, you'll have your down moments. Yeah, you'll have your, your times of wanting to give up, but in order to honor them and honor their lives, you have to live your life to the fullest. So I think that's what 2021 has meant to me and beyond is to live life to the fullest, enjoy every moment that you can, push through, smile, hug, love, a whole lot more. Stop the fighting, stop the bickering, stop the jealousy, stop the anxiety, stop all of the negativity and just live life positively, positive vibes only. And that's how I feel I've lived 2021. Um, to the best of my ability and how I wanna to continue to just live my life. Um, to the best. So if anyone has lost a, a, a loved one, I feel live life to the fullest to honor their, their, their legacy and honor their lives. Mm -hmm.